more. And today we get to find out more about something cool that's happening on Sunday. We're going to get the chance to witness a total lunar eclipse, or they call it a blood moon. And joining us here to share a little bit more is Adam Gambrell. He's the chief operating officer for Mississippi Weather Network. Hey, Adam. How are you doing today, Rebecca? I am doing well, and I'm super excited about this fun event. I'm a little sad that it's going to be almost midnight before (laughs) you get to witness it, but it only comes around um, every now and then. So let's get started by explaining what is a total lunar eclipse. So a total lunar eclipse is actually going to be where a full moon, a super moon, actually, we're going to have uh, passes between the Earth and the moon and the sun actually casts a shadow across where it actually casts a color red on the moon. So the moon will actually be a complete red color. Um, Looking at about a total lunar eclipse starting around 11, 11 p.m. on Sunday night. Well, that's going to be something for folks to set their either set their alarm for or wait patiently for. Is this one of those things, Adam, that you can slowly watch happening? I know like an eclipse kind of comes on slow and then usually it blacks out the moon, if I'm correct with that. Um, or I may not have that correct, but it, it you can see it in progress. Will you be able to watch if you kind of hang outside, watch the moon slowly turn red? Yes, that's correct. You can stand outside uh, waiting patiently and uh, view the moon as it turns red. Um, it's supposed to start around 8.32 p.m. is whenever we're going to start seeing what we call the phenomenal eclipse. And then at 9.27, it's whenever we're going to see the partial eclipse. And then right around 10.29 is whenever we're going to see a total eclipse begin. Um, and then right at 11.11 is where we're going to see the peak of it. And around 11.53 p.m. is when we're going to see the total eclipse start ending. And then right around 12.55 p.m. a.m., I'm sorry, uh, that's where we see the partial eclipse start ending. And then 1.50, whenever we see the moon again. So you you can miss it if you think, oh, I'll just wake up early before the sunrise and get out and catch it then and not see it, you know, at midnight. You may still see the super moon, which is kind of like a larger version or it feels like an up close exaggerated version of the moon. But you'll miss the beautiful red tinted color. Correct? That is correct. How often do these happen? It feels like here lately, and I think maybe we've just gotten better at uh, getting the word out that cool things are happening in the air, Uh, but it feels like there's been more of these lately, or we're just, again, we're just more uh, accustomed to understanding it. But when will the next one be? If we miss this one, Adam, when's the next one? So if you miss this uh, lunar eclipse, you're going to be in luck again for this year. Actually, um, we're supposed to see another total lunar eclipse visible in the United States around November 8th of this year, actually. Okay. So we may get one a little bit sooner. I had where it said September of 2024. So that was one, but uh, looking back at some research and everything, it's showing that we might possibly get to see another one around November 8th of this year. You know, that's my birthday, Adam, so I really appreciate you making that happen on that such a special day for me to look forward to. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about Mississippi Weather Network. You guys do a great job, at least online, of keeping everybody updated on all things weather. What? what tell us about your staff. What do you do? Yes, ma'am. So Mississippi Weather Network is a nonprofit. We're all volunteers none of us get paid for what we do we're just a bunch of weather enthusiasts who like to keep the whole state of mississippi weather aware whenever severe weather happens um we definitely try to keep everyone updated especially during tornado weather um you never know how these weather tv or these tv channels you know they're sometimes late or sometimes posting these warnings but as soon as the warning's issued we're right there on top of it uh, we're about a team of 10 people all across the state of Mississippi who are posting warnings and everything as soon as they're issued. 
Well, it's definitely important information to keep people uh, up to date on in those scary times. You can never have too many places to get uh, reliable information from when it comes to being weather aware. So, Adam, you said a weather enthusiast. When did you, when did weather pique your interest? When did you get interested in all things Mother Nature? You have to repeat that question. I'm having a hard time hearing you. That's okay. When did you first get interested in the weather? Um, actually, when I was very young, um, just something about learning about weather and everything. I uh, started learning actually in science class in high, uh, elementary school. And then uh, thought about going to school to be a meteorologist, but I hate math and math hates me. Math is hard. I'll give you that. But Mississippi State does have a great meteorology program. I think I said that correctly. And they turn out, yes. if you ever think about going back and, and getting that degree, you could still stay in state um, with that. I've thought about it, but I actually work as a paramedic, and I love what I do and everything. So I wouldn't really see myself going back to school to do meteorology. Well, it still feels like maybe you found an opportunity to scratch an itch, which is uh, the weather. And I'm sure you guys had um, a lot to do over the last, I guess, spring with all the, I think, 82 confirmed tornadoes. I may have that may have the number wrong. It was a busy and active sc uh, spring. Do you see it being a busy and active summer, or do you think we'll be in the clear? Um, actually, with hurricane season beginning and everything, we're looking at a really active hurricane season. I'd definitely say the tornado threat and th uh, is definitely not over. Uh, spring definitely showed us a remarkable event. Um, I would say just prepare and be ready for more because we never know what's going to happen because weather patterns change within the minute. It sure does here in Mississippi. If if anybody was at the Brandon Amphitheater last night waiting for Brooks and Don, they know that that weather pattern could change in a heartbeat over an, 30 minutes to an hour. It was pretty. It was pretty crazy. And you guys were helping us stay updated on that as well. So where can individuals find what you all are doing for the Mississippi Weather Network? So if you're not following us, we have a Facebook page. All you gotta do is in the search bar. Type in Mississippi Weather Network, and we're the first one that's going to pop up. It's going to be a green icon with the state of Mississippi. It's going to say Mississippi Weather Network. Um, Hunter Dickerson is our CEO. Uh, definitely give a big shout-out to him. He's actually busy today. So I am the COO. I decided that I would take the call today and answer. Um, Hunter and I both work in the EMS field, and it's definitely difficult doing EMS and also doing Mississippi Weather Network history, but everything we do is what we love. Well, everyone loves to be, you know, updated on the weather. And again, you guys do a great job. You even throw in some of the fun stuff like the upcoming uh, blood moon on um, Sunday night for many of us here in Mississippi. Jeff in Oxford said that there is going to be a 40% chance of rain where he is on Sunday. If it's raining, Adam, is that going to hurt our chances of seeing the big moon? So sadly, if it does rain, rain usually means there's cloud in the skies, and clouds means a very discerned view. So sadly, if it's going to be raining in your area, it's going to be difficult to view. Now, you might be able to view NASA and some of these other space programs. They are actually pretty good at doing a live stream of everything. I know they did the total solar eclipse, which if we remember that a couple of years ago, uh, NASA did a good live stream and everything on that. So definitely be keeping up with NASA, watching what they do, because they're pretty good at live streaming different events. Well, there's something for you guys to repost so we can all make sure that we get the opportunity to see it if we have our alarm set and it's raining or it's cloudy where we are on Sunday night because you don't want to miss it. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be big and red, and it's going to be fun. And I appreciate you chiming in with us here on Good Things, Adam. I appreciate you having me on here. All righty. You know we like the weather, like all things Mother Earth and things that are going on in the sky. You get the opportunity to only see these things every once in a while. And if the 2024 is the next time that you can see one of these big, beautiful moons, then you may want to make a note to get outside and at least look up in the sky and see if you can see it happening 
in the moment. But you stay in the moment with us. We've got more good things for you coming up next.